is now to the point where we're hearing the next clip, uh, the clip for the next episode. Tony talking about, look, I, I don't want to be here no more. You know, he's talking about leaving like, as, as if he's going to um, self-eliminate or something because he don't have a connection with um, with Morgan anymore. And Morgan's kissing Lyndon now. Lyndon played it smart because he did the Bush League move and then went and apologized very soon after, made it seem sincere, and his apology was accepted. That automatically put Tony at a disadvantage because his apology was rejected, as we saw. So Lyndon has now moved up in Morgan's estimation, probably because he showed more bite than he has shown before. Everybody assumed he was some laid back Caribbean guy, fun guy to be around, bartender, nothing serious. But the way he underhandedly moved to get one up on Tony, that definitely elevated him in, in uh, Morgan's estimation, probably made her look at him in a different light. They, you know, the apology was even received with a hug. Then he went back to join everybody else. So, you know, Tony um, shot himself in the foot. There's no doubt about it because he rose to the, to the, uh, to the bait. He took the bait. But I think there are so many things that contributed to this. It wasn't just Tony sitting there one day thinking, you know what, uh, you know, sitting in the car on the way up to the retreat. Yeah, you know what, I'm going to get Morgan tonight. He wasn't thinking that, you know. Um, I don't think that uh, Morgan knew how it was going to play out. I don't think Lyndon knew that he was going to out Tony at that particular time. But all these things conspired to take place at the same time in one day, and it just basically um, made Morgan's process easier for her because now she don't have to worry about Tony. He's finished. He finished himself. Uh, in my opinion, both guys should have ran from Morgan ages ago because this level of toxicity that she brings, you know, it, it's something that she has um, made a point of saying to Tony about his connections, as I mentioned before. This is how she operates. She likes this type of energy in the room. She wants to be the center of attention, though. She doesn't want to be the person battling another lady for another guy's attention. She wants all eyes on her. So there's an element that I think she likes to be the prize. But again, when you play these type of games, you don't know how it's going to go. And if it spirals and you've got a hothead like Tony and you've got a, a snake like um, Lyndon, then it's going to be combustible. And then now, who you like, now the hothead's gone, you're left with the snake. So, can you really trust saying anything in confidentiality to Lyndon, knowing that he won't weaponize it against you in the future? You don't know that. But this is what he's shown. If he does do it, just like if Lyndon takes the chance with her and the Nair gate thing, right? If, if anything goes wrong, he can't say, I didn't know that this was going to happen. Because he's had prior warning that she can do certain things. Now, she can see what he's capable of. He's capable of taking something that you said in confidence and then putting it out there to win a, to, to win an argument or point score. All right, Coach. Uh, bring up the clip so we can see if, if Lyndon is really a good guy or a nice guy. That to happen. For you to be in the middle of it, going back and forth, is just really unfair to you. It's just a who is bigger tournament at the table at this moment. Thank you um, for coming out here and talking to me about it. Not genuine. <laughs> I mean, not genuine. I think what he said was true. Yes, you know, like, it was a who's D is bigger contest. That's exactly what it was. That's what they've been doing the whole time. But that just because he put some truth in the apology, it does not mean that it's sincere. This is just his attempt to smooth things over and get things back on track. Um, but he knew what he was doing. They both know what they've been doing the whole time. As a matter of fact, I really think honestly, what kind of tipped the scale to is the fact that they were among so many people at the table. If it was just them two and Morgan, 
it might not have really gotten that bad. And if it did, I don't think she would have been as hot about it, you know, but the fact that like, okay, you're going to argue about me in front of me, not just in front of me, but in front of everybody like that, that is an another level. I think that made it a lot worse um, probably in that moment, but you know, they, they've been doing this and, and I don't really, I don't buy the whole like, oh, you know, he said this in confidence and he broke the bro code or whatever, like worse has been said in front of other people um, about, you know, whatever has been said in whatever lounge. We all know ain't nothing confident in them lounges, <laughs> you know, or wherever amongst each other. Um, I think that Lyndon and Tony had a very playful back and forth competition going on about a girl that they both perceive to be bad and they want to conquer. And they, and so they like her, but the, you know, the tussle of it all and the egos, I think, became more important than, you know, their affinity or their liking, you know, to her. I think it just got more about that. But they were pretty playful back and forth, you know, even with the pool table and stuff like that in the beginning, the car ride, like nothing really got too aggressive until a lot later on with them. So I think it just kind of escalated. Um, but back to the clip, I don't think that that apology was sincere. I just think it was like, okay, ooh, that went too far. We were just playing, but ooh, let me just let me just go back and let her know. I, I didn't mean to really just do it like that, like that. But I had to, I had to let him know. You know what I mean? Um, and I do think that he did have to do that. I don't think it was a bad move at all in terms of the the contest that they had between each other. It was toxic. It was bad. We all know this, but. In terms of the fight, I think he did what he had to do. Linda reminds me of LJ from last season a lot. And somebody dropped it in the chat too that he got a he got a little girlfriend anyway. <laughs> so that's even more so like LJ <laughs> when he brought uh his ex that really wasn't an ex on the uh you know on the show. But yeah, no, I I think there might be a little more to meets the eye than than Mr. Linden. I think this is another, you know, they have the 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 character types, right? So he's the nice guy, not a good guy. Or however, I always mess it up. So good guy, not nice guy, whatever one it is. <laughs> this there's a there's a there's a layer <laughs> there that Anybody that can give off to, you know, someone else that they're a good person, you know enough to know to not demolish her like that. For, to, to tell her that in that table like that, that that was rough. And to play that pool game, too, about who's going to sleep in whose bed. Yeah, you, 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 you play a little bit of games. You just not as. Oh, 